Dude, I needed to let that out so bad. Holy shit. You know, earlier this morning... What do you think the drop-off rate for the episode <laughs> game was like 90, one second? 90%. And you know what's crazy? And yet, thank you for that. Because this morning I woke up and I said, I hope I laugh today. Because I haven't been laughing recently. Oh and you made me laugh. So thank you. You're literally... So thank you. You'll spend like a single day alone all day and then be like, I, I just don't. <laughs> I don't have laughter in my life. I don't laugh anymore. I, I don't think I've laughed in a year. <laughs> truly. <laughs> oh truly. Um, okay. But seriously, before we start this episode, I want to say this to you guys, but especially to True. Give me your hand. Happy Pride. I love you so much. Don't fucking play with me. Oh, my God. Don't fucking play with me. Oh, my God. I was... Fucking happy pride! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back, y'all. Sorry, guys, I had to go to the ER, but <laughs> and you got a couple sutures. You know what's crazy is last time I went to the ER is when um our apartment the incident happened at the apartment. Which one? Um, you were in a neck brace. Kai was all tattered up. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. The last episode we did at the apartment, that was the last time I went to the ER. And they said the same thing this time. They were like, thank God you're straight, so you're fine. And you're amazing. That's all they said. It was weird. I, can you give me the Have name you ever of gotten that hospital? Your... No, I think, I think they're really good at what they do. So they'll... I'm suing them. Why? For being truthful? For being hateful. <laughs> For being a hateful hospital. She went to the uh, Westboro Baptist Hospital. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh wait, I love that place. <laughs> oh wait, that's oh, wait, I love that church. I love that church. Um, well, with that being the start of the episode, I love this back and forth that's unraveling between us and Trisha, where it's Damn. like every other week we're just talking about each other lightly. I haven't even seen this clip yet. Okay, I'm gonna play it for Drew. He hasn't seen it. I woke up and I had a text that said Trisha talked about us, so I immediately went and my nosy ass was checking, and this is what she had to say. Work. We were a part of her maternity obsession. <gasps> well, I don't know if that's no. my obsession. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> emergency intercom. PG-13 <laughs> yeah. thing we can watch. I was watching emergency intercom because I saw Enya and Drew. They were talking. I, I oh, did not yeah. know. Did you check your DMs from Drew? No. Oh, he talked about it. He said if Trisha ever looks at my DMs from. Uh, oh, yes. I yes. saw that part, but I don't think he did. I think I checked. And I don't think he did. I oh, think it was maybe. It might, I don't know. Because for Ted, maybe, I feel like after a while they expire. Because I definitely have DMs had a few times. And the only one that was in there was one. Yeah, I only saw so, one yes. from him. Oh my god, that's so iconic. So I saw them talking about they were so nice because I truly didn't know when we told we talked about the shirt that I told you shirt from Challengers and then how the ceiling fell on them. And <laughs> I was like, I don't know who they are. But they were like so nice because like so many people get offended if I say like look there's five million podcasts out there. I'm sure most people don't a lot of people don't know who I am. I mean a lot of people do, but a lot of people probably don't know who I am too. And I would <laughs> no. never be like, oh my God, I can't believe they don't know who I am. Like just people just don't know. So they were super nice about it because like I didn't know who they were and you enlightened me and I was like, okay, I love them. They're great. That sounds iconic. And they were really nice. They were like they're like oh yeah like it was cool she mentioned us or whatever so then i was like let me watch emergency intercom and then i started watching it and i actually really loved both of them and i was like shout out to them and i love their podcast i love that their podcast is like not boring like so many podcasts like couples podcasts wow. or you know, you know i don't know whatever couples you know, podcasts. Like, just, wait what they're, 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 i get bored of them after a while i've been watching pretty basic unfiltered whatever that one is i've been watching that but <laughs> but emergency intercom's funny like they're funny they have a good like they're not in a relationship right <laughs> i don't believe so <laughs> is no. he gay i I think. No, we don't know. I don't know. No, she look. Um, it is Pride Month. It's she, Pride Month. She yes, has yes, such yes, a good response. I don't believe so. No. Is he gay? I, I think we don't know. <laughs> I don't we don't know need to speculate. Sure. It doesn't matter. Um, it is Pride Month. It's Pride Month. Next, tore. next week she do said, our we don't need to speculate, and it's Pride Month. <laughs> 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 no, that is so fucking sick. I know. I'm like me? realizing that I think I have like a weirdly like 
not parasocial because I'm not like she's not somebody who I'm like feel like I'm friends with. But you know how there's certain celebrities who we always talk about like it takes so much for me to be like, oh, my God, I can't believe this person. Mm -hmm. But the smile on my face watching that this morning, I was like, this is a bit jarring how happy this is. It making literally me. felt like, like when I saw Beyonce in concert for the first yeah. time. Like, I'm not kidding. Like the way I was like welling up and I was just like, wait, I did not know I love this person. That yeah, much. that's like, how it felt her mentioning us. She's so like mother goose. Like she has like maternal vibes. Yeah. Like, also, congrats on the birth of Elvis. Elvis, Elvis was just born. shout out Elvis. Elvis, which is a really cute girl name. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, so I'm not the only buddy uh, person who uh, I'm not the only buddy. I'm not the I'm, only person. I'm not the who, only buddy, and yeah, <laughs> what does that mean? I'm not the yeah. only person who associates you with pride, and I don't yeah, think you're true, gonna true. smash true. a vase on Trisha's head. So it's just uh, like you Trisha, know, Trisha, come part. into my studio and if you say <laughs> anything. <laughs> anything you're getting a bottle next like i don't fucking play we need to give malibu a breakaway bottle and let her break <laughs> it on our head damn well that was fucking sick and a great way to start this episode because that's some other goose some other boots <laughs> she tore she tore right right well spiders have been attacking me in my bed <laughs> and you finally saw it she thought i was like fucking tripping but like no i swear to that's god that's what and you get all... for being one of those annoying bitches who's like their only crime is being small well no i was like that i genuinely was like damn their only crime is being small like if a spider's in my room i won't kill it because i'm like you deserve to live and you're protecting me and your spirits are nice um but y'all, they've like started like attacking me in my bed. And I think I talked about it on a past episode, but like I, I will see them like crawling on my window seal by my bed and they'll run across and then disappear. And I'm just like, whatever, like crawling in my ear, in my mouth, in my sleep. Like I literally don't give a fuck. Like it's not that deep. Like spiders are empty calories anyway. So like what the fuck? Um, but like this fucking spider was like... Um, <laughs> attacking me in my bed like i was gonna let it live and it ran at me like really fucking fast so i smashed it with a book and then i told india about it and she was like girl shut the fuck up and i was like no literally there are spiders like they're all attacking me they're coming from me like it's crazy it is actually insane like being like the type of person that i am like a very empathetic person that like gets used a lot just in what general. the fuck does it have to do with spiders i just get used and abused and thrown out to the curb um but that was a random tangent but anyways this fucking spider and you was in my room and we were just chilling and i pointed it out and they're all the same fucking size which is really creepy like they're all and i'm starting to think it might be the same spider over and over again and they just survive i don't fucking or know. you might find that those spiders grow to that size and that's their adult and form. then they start attacking me <laughs> they all well, deserve that's their to be job smashed. that's what spiders. i'm saying that's what i'm saying is like you are always like oh protect bugs but no they're whole goal is to bite you no literally it, it was like actually so scary and you saw it and and you had to kill him for me because i felt really bad um about killing him i didn't i smushed the fuck out of that into my bed sheets left a blood stain on my bed like it was nasty and then you know what i did every spider that i kill now in my bed in or around my bed i put them on the window seal that they come from and I just have them laying there one by Azul one. Azul is just going to start eating them. No, if they... They're but literally... I, it's going to be like air-dried, like fucking beef crispy. jerky. Crispy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like freeze-dried <laughs> spiders. Yeah. Um. No, but I put them there as a warning sign. I'm like, look, if you come near me, I will kill you. And like now they have... It's like the stand your ground law in Florida. Like don't <laughs> enter my fucking space because I'll smush your ass like a fuck immediately. But yeah, I've just been like attacked by spiders. And then I found out that like putting bugs outside like is actually deadly to them because they're oh, acclimated. Yeah, that you're like evicting them from them. yeah yeah i'm like literally destroying their lives and killing them immediately but so this is a message to all the spiders out there um don't fucking play with me like literally <laughs> don't fucking play do you like think we have like there's a few spider listeners like for sure can i get the tom hollenberger hold the spiders I literally can i get the h2o burger with the mermaid tail sauce well the other day in the car with drew he said something and i was like i'm not kidding if you did meth i genuinely think you would solve a lot of problems like we the way drew some meth, thinks that it like a get lot me of some meth y'all like because sometimes no seriously get me meth okay no and now you're like too eager at first you were like ew no i would never and now it seems like you've been thinking about it like, like i just no Can we move on? Well, also, I have so many. All of my notes are about Drew right now because all we've been doing is laying in his bed and hanging out. And when we were sitting in his bed watching TikToks the other night, he got one of those. 
<laughs> Drew doesn't uh, let me go through his drafts because now I know it's full of shit uh, like this. First of all, he got one of those TikTok that I was like, your career is about to take off in a magnificent way. And he used the sound and posted it on private. And then Fuck. there was another TikTok I that it was like it. it was like a money spread TikTok and he was like claim. I just I'm looking at my phone I hear claim, claim, claim. I'm claiming this energy, I'm claiming this energy, claim, claim, claim. Claiming. Manifesting, manifesting, claiming, claiming this energy. <laughs> manifesting this. <laughs> I claim, I claim, I, I claim. I claim, I claim. Only the good parts, only the good parts. <laughs> <laughs> And he literally has been doing that. And he also, oh, wait, you went to a psychic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but I need we to need know to finish this. this. Um, so if you go through my <laughs> private, because they always say, like, use this sound. It can be private. So I put it on private and I just use it like in the darkness with a like showing my face and I have the sound and I upload it and it's a fucking vibe. But the ones that piss me off the fucking most is when it's like your mother will die in six hours if you don't use this sound. So I just started clicking not interested on it. But I used to like sc scroll by really quick like I didn't see it. I like, will oh, say I, I do. I don't believe in it, but I do catch myself scrolling by really quick. Like it's as like if, new like, if I don't finish it it doesn't count on me do you remember the chain mail like carmen winstead shit yeah. like that that's like the modern day version of that and they're all just like view and interaction farming and it fucking works bro it's so annoying that like that's the new era of it because it felt so much more real when you were getting a text like that sent directly to your phone yeah. that was so jarring like getting a text i was like if you don't send this to 20 people your best friend is gonna die in their sleep i genuinely i, I would oh, not fuck. be sending that to 20 people like not even close not even one person would get that. If if it meant my best friend is dying, like I'm letting that bitch die. I'm right here. I think, are you talking about me? Yes. Oh. Well, if uh, there was a text that was- uh, The sexy uh, guy in your life, if, if you don't send 20 messages, <laughs> the sexy guy will die. Uh, of course it would be me. No, I, I think there's other people who could take that category. Kai? No. <laughs> Wait, what? Actually, God, now that I, I said that, I can't think of a single man in my life who I would ever describe as sexy. Is there a like, sexy seriously. girl in your life? Oh, yeah. There's like plenty of sexy girls. Hmm. Maybe this month is for you too, babe. No. I just, that, that doesn't even, see how that doesn't even sound right when I say it to you? <laughs> something about that like rings true when you say it about me. It's like... I, that doesn't even sound yeah. right. That doesn't even sound it's right. It's like the manifesting. So it's like, okay. Like, okay. <laughs> you think you're, oh, you think you're going to trick me. Yeah. Damn. Um, I need to know about the psychic and you need to do it now because also now I'm thinking about the audio message you sent me last night. This is just the Drew episode because yeah. you've just been such a funny person this week. And usually you're really like sad and boring and awful to be around. And like, I have to like make sure I separate from him. Um, but this week you were on like an okay one. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Uh, Drew Phillips catching catching strays episode <laughs> drew phillips being skinny episode wait when's that <laughs> right <laughs> fucking now babe wait do we have that kind of technology <laughs> no 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 wait i just laughed i literally just laughed y'all holy fuck holy shit we broke the curse um okay so I've been getting callings recently from like the beyond and it started with <laughs> Okay, you're um, schizophrenic. <laughs> it started with hallucinogens and I said this last time like every like 5 years like I get a calling to like try one probably not in the headspace to do that right now of course not um but when i was 16 also, I think it the felt calling very is real called boredom but yeah. yes no the calling is called addiction <laughs> um no every five years i would get a calling and then i would do it and then it would shift my reality and fuck me up for four years and completely melt my fucking brain um well i got a calling from a sidekick recently like i just like i felt the need to go and i had never been before and i was like Fuck, dude, there's one like right Have up the street. Have you never even had your like tarot cards read? No, no. Oh, or wow. maybe, maybe at, yeah, at the, when I was at um, my best friend Bella's event, she had like a tarot card reader. Oh, okay. Yeah, like me and Bella Hadid like were really close and she like had tarot card reading. Like she's like basically my best friend and like. Oh, you mean the event I was invited to and I put you down on the list? <laughs> and then you didn't go. Okay. And then we just I had like really a night busy. out on the town. That's my girl, y'all. I actually, that was like one of those moments I had FOMO because it sounded like all of our friends were together. Yeah. 
It was really fun. But I had it, a, honestly, oh, oh I, then, now that I remember, I had a way better night because my friends are evil and they make me feel awful. So I was I gonna say, I was gonna say, it really was potentially the greatest night of my life, and I feel like it would have been the greatest night of your life if you were there. Just like the vibes were there, the drinks were flowing. I'm just like, like not believing it because you're like not happy. Like the party bus location, <laughs> next location, next club, next club. Like it was a movie. It was a fucking movie. Um, but what the fuck? Oh, oh, oh. I decided I was like, oh, I want to go to a sidekick really, really fucking badly. I've never been. Also, he was trying to convince me to go with him for like two hours straight. He was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I need to go eat. And he was like, wait, but we should go to a sidekick. That sounds fun. And I was like, I don't want to go. And then he's like, no, but what if you like, oh, they're going to say something so good. (laughs) And I was like, no. Yeah, I was like, let's fucking go. Like, come on, like, let's turn up. And I was like. There was one right up the street from my house that I've seen for the last five years. And then I finally called them. They didn't answer my call the first time I called. And that this was like after I was begging y'all to go. And then I called them back. And then they were like, oh, no, no, no. This was before because I already had my time yeah. slot. Um, but then I called them back and they answered. And it was so spooky, ooky vibe. She was like very mystical feeling. And I was like, fuck, like this is very like authentic. Like this is about to be a vibe. It's right up the street from her house, like in a regular ass home. So I make the appointment for an hour later, get there, yeah, pull up. Yeah, that's the crazy part. You didn't go to one that's like in an office space or like a storefront space. This is one that we've passed forever and it's a house. It's yeah. like a house on the side of the road with a big sign. Yeah. And I like pull up and um, immediately I have like an, a gnarly gut feeling. I'm like, oh, something bad is like genuinely about to happen. Like I was literally like, oh, I'm going to be kidnapped. But then I remembered I'm a 16 year old boy that looks like a 26 year old man so i was like they're not gonna fucking kidnap me like what the fuck like it, i look older than i actually am y'all um <laughs> i don't get carded for alcohol anymore um but i'm only 16 so okay um but anyways i pull up i go through the front door it's really fucking creepy vibes and i walk into <laughs> literally, literally anybody who comes into our apartment i go up <laughs> the front door it's really creepy <laughs> like bad feng shui bad feng shui um i open the front door and i am greeted with just a family home with like a child and a man running around like chasing after their daughter like wrangling her to get her out of like the living room and then there was like this shitty little desk in the corner we sit at the desk um, and she's like, how do you want to do this? What do you want? And I was just like, uh, I just want my past, present and future. Like, I don't I don't know if there's anything you can do for that. And she was like, yeah. And then she like listed all the prices out. And then I was like, "Ooh, fuck, like this shit is, is expensive? expensive. Like, no, I'll get to that. I paid one hundred dollars for. 30 minutes. Let's just start that. Okay, um, first of all, you should have just gone to fucking therapy. I know, literally. Read me <laughs> like, read me to fucking filth in the comments because I know that is fucking ridiculous. But I was just like, I'm already there. Like, I'm going to talk about it on the podcast. It's going to be funny. Yeah, I guess how um, do you get there and be like, oh, wow. And then leave her house. You know, literally, literally. Um, I guess any real adult who has like <laughs> yeah, normal any, brain capacity probably would have done any that. Any dignity. Um, but anyway, she dignity. starts dignity. <laughs> she starts the reading um and i could immediately tell this is like so phony and she's not like a real sidekick like i do believe that like there are people that are mediums but like it is funny that every single famous medium is a white woman in her late 40s (laughs) bored as fuck housewife like i'm sorry i'm sorry like look at all every single one of them on yelp was a white woman and i was like okay like this cannot be this this is not the tea but anyways i pull up um i sit down and i immediately am like fuck dude like what did i get myself into because i am like already crying laughing at the shit she's saying and i'm like damn dude like i have to like get out of this and then i anyways long story short or long story even longer because it's already been a long story um she starts reading my cards and like she starts saying like the funniest shit ever and i wasn't uh voice memo recording in the beginning because i just forgot and then Mm -hmm. 10 minutes in she she called me a very very weak person she said i am a very very weak-minded leader also i gave her a fake name and a fake birthday and all this shit because i wanted to see if she was authentic um she called me a very weak person and so I started screen recording and um, she like went on to just berate me for being like a terrible, terrible person. She was like, you are a bad person. Like oh my God. you are weak. 
there's nothing you can do to fix it. And I kept asking her like through tears of laughter. I was like, how do I fix this? How do I fix this? And she's like, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. And basically it was like. She was just trying to extend past 30 minutes. So she'd be like, okay, the time is up. Well, no, I was supposed to have an hour, but she ended it at 30 minutes because she got mad at me. But anyways, (laughs) because I was, I mean, I was literally crying laughing, dude. Like I could not. And like, I was like acting like I was crying. I just like (laughs) spit spit so much. It's all over the mic. I just spit everywhere. But I was like crying laughing because I was like, holy shit, this is so funny. But I was like trying to act like I was crying. But then she started saying that I was surrounded by evil (laughs) and like i'm gonna try to find it in the voice memo no that's all i could think about was like literally y'all you need to be more strong you need to have friends you need someone to be able to tell you exactly what are these type of things that i need to be able to do in my life okay what are these things i need to be able to achieve in because there is no protection around you surprisingly there is not because it's where are you currently working I lie. The reason why that I say that is because I truly feel there's a lot of jealous people around you. Yup. So many people are jealous of your success. Yeah. So many people are jealous of your success. A lot of people are honestly jealous upon who the person you really are. Mm-hmm. And these are people that you are not friends with, no. But these are definitely people that see you on social media. I don't fuck with you. see uh, you around whoever it is. Mm-hmm. You understand me? Because there is someone with inside of your life that's trying to honestly take you down. Mm. Inya. Yeah. <laughs> and that is negative energy. Negative energy. Spirits that are trying to attack you. Spirits that are trying to attack me. <laughs> no, Meanwhile, I'm, I'm, I'm crying. Because of the jealousy. The jealousy you are. <laughs> I'm sorry, giving so in to other so people. Because, because of the jealousy. Of you. The jealousy. And for that reason, you need to have a lot of protection around you so that there's no jealous or interference with inside of your life, with inside of your business. Because I but, do see. I'm gonna, Did she give you any advice? Are they supposed no, to give advice? Yes, but that <laughs> leads me to the next part. Basically, she started saying that like since birth, my mother like passed on evil energy to me, and she was like, "How's your relationship with your mom?" And I was like, "Oh, it's like fantastic." And she was like, "Oh, well, like she held on to like a lot of evil, sinister energy, and she passed that on to you." Basically, saying that this is all my mom's fault that like I have evil spirits attached to me. And Damn, you better count your fucking no, days. No, literally, literally, like, fuck you, mom. That's what I was, I called her yesterday and then missed her call back and then called her on the way here. And that's what I needed to talk to her about. Um, and then I realized at the end of it, I was like, oh, I know what she's doing. And so I caught on and it was basically her like trying to upsell me on all of this other shit that she can do. She was saying that like, I'm weak. I have evil spirits like attacking me. There's jealous people in my life. And the only way to get rid of them is to come back to me or stay after today and get like a chakra cleansing, a cleansing, um, a meditation session, like all this shit. And she was just like, when I told her, I was like, no, I have to be somewhere after this. Her vibe completely shifted. And then I was like, oh, fuck, she really is phony. And this is all a ploy to get me to join her church. She kept talking. I, then I started looking around and I was like, oh, wow, there is like a lot of Jesus memorabilia around for like a psychic. Like, that's really interesting. And then she went on this long tangent about how, like, I need to find God in Jesus, the holy power. And that, like, um, that's the only way they can save you along with my cleansing and chakra <laughs> cleansing. And she was like, I don't do any voodoo. I don't do any, like, hexing. I don't do none of that shit. Like, it's literally just like... The power um, of God. Yeah, the power of God. And she was like, you should come with me at some point, like, to my church and, like... I, at first, I was like, "Oh, is this like a cult or something?" But wait, should I go as undercover yes, and yes. see if she does the same thing? Yes, with me? and yeah, I, I go in and s- she's like, "You're amazing. You're surrounded by love, except one evil entity that's living in your home with you." And then she's like, "Oh my Azul, god!" And Azul. you're no, she's like, "Your cat loves you." Um, but wait, there's just something. The ling- oh, it's you. And she's like, "And that person's very weak." Well, this evil entity her- will burn down your fucking house with a zool inside and i won't be there and blow up your fucking car <laughs> so um, you can't but no, leave. now i need to go back this week and we need to start an investigation yeah. and start well like- that was the thing at the end of it when i said no to all her add-ons but i was like i want to bring my friends like i want them to come and then she lit up again and she was like yeah bring all your friends bring everybody bring all the good vibes bring all your friends like please 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 bring them. <laughs> okay her saying bring all the good vibes girl you just told me all my friends were fucking evil no literally like- evil thoughts because the evil is trying to attack you mentally yeah sorry i'm 
This is crazy. <laughs> You've been going to sleep at night with tears in your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not like laughing. It's just crazy. No, no, it's okay. You're like reading me to filth right now. <laughs> These nightmares are just like too much. Yeah. Too, too much. You have been having nightmares of people that you have not even seen before, or maybe even creatures of some sort. Yeah. Maybe even you in a very dark, deep hole, and you don't know how to get yourself out of. Yeah. You understand me? <laughs> or maybe even someone shaking. trying to murder you or something like really drastic and weird yeah i'm i also am seeing like my loved ones around me yeah. like literally burning alive mm -hmm. like constantly or like getting executed are these pa are these loved ones um passed on or did, did they pass or are they here they're still here they're here with us okay okay i have had a dream about a loved one that passed on that was a zombie <laughs> uh -huh. but it was scary yeah. oh my gosh my dear you know what that means mm. that means that there is something that's really trying to attack you there is an <laughs> there is a evil spirit that is connected to you that is trying to be able to get into your mind and control you and manipulate you mm. you are very easy to move <laughs> like, I I, that is true i know that <laughs> it's trying to control you and manipulate, manipulate you. <laughs> you um but yeah that shit was killing me and then i Dude, left and i was like you'd be Fuck. like sorry i'm not laughing at you it's just this is a lot <laughs> also you say to this random woman in the most serious sound like yeah i'm so sorry you're just like reading me to filth right now <laughs> like, and then she went on this long tangent because i forgot like how we got there but she was talking about like um how like someone came into her house and put her fish in the garbage disposal and turned it on and i was like girl oh i, I brought up how you killed my bug <laughs> let me find it let me find it wait drew how did you pay her venmo okay so she saw your real name but i paid her after the reading and it was it was crazy she like lit i could have walked out of there without paying her like she she wanted me out like her tone shifted in the craziest way sure my dear Sorry. Enjoying times and our good times. Now there's something that's reading. We open a new chapter. We open a new book. But I don't think I Okay, it starts at ten forty. I know where about. You know what I mean? Yeah. Within your future, my dear. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't see children in your future. Yeah. The fuck does she mean I, by that? I, I think it's I fucking pride one boy. I, I know, I literally, know. like yeah, that I was agree. evil. I don't see children, maybe like fur babies, you know what I mean? Like yeah, animals yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Do you have any animals? Um not currently, no. Okay. Yeah. Fuck, I wish you went wait, wait, wait. I oh wish my. you like when she said that you were like I'm actually engaged to the love of my life right now and she's expecting yeah literally and then she I probably would have went further and been like I'm sorry to tell you this but there's a miscarriage coming yeah there's literally she would have like said <laughs> she would have definitely shit. doubled down babies okay. you know what I mean like yeah. animals and stuff yeah do you have any animals 11 or 5 um not currently no okay yeah I had a praying mantis at one point oh my god I love it. Mm. That's probably so scary, though. Yeah, it was it was scary. My roommate killed her <gasps> what? on accident. On accident. I think she sprayed vinegar inside of her container because oh. she needs moisture, oh. and she was taking care of her. And I think she accidentally um, like uh, sprayed vinegar in there. Oh my god! Um, you want to hear something terrible? So I had someone come over to my house and clean the fish tank. Oh, they no. got they put the fish down the garbage disposal and turned it on why i don't know i still don't know to this day that is horrifying yeah what fish did you have <laughs> your special interest <laughs> coming out here i like, thought she was gonna say like, wait, was it like a reef tank i thought she was gonna chin? say a reef tank and she was like it was a fucking beta fish and i was like girl like you were probably abusing that fucking fish anyways <laughs> like they need tanks but yeah so i went to a psychiatrist and no, she told me oh yeah a <laughs> you need to go to a psychiatrist i do i do no i went to a psychiatrist she told me that i'm fuck i said a it again God, <laughs> bitch y'all just heard the fucking story i'm not like wrapping it up but um that's so awesome. I need to go. Now I really need to go. You but should. I'm glad we didn't go together. Because no, I, I if I saw you cracking up, I think I would have started laughing and she literally would have kicked us out of her house. I know. It was crazy. And like seeing like 
her it was funny because do you her, think like, it'll be too suspicious if i go like no, today or tomorrow no you should go you should definitely it would not be suspicious at all did you like look at her yelp did she have good no reviews? I, I just called the sign because i felt like a calling from like beyond okay me like, when i see an ad and i feel a calling like no it's <laughs> i like, said that to her and she was like how did you find out about us and i was like the big sign <laughs> <laughs> She was like, oh. the biggest sign on a front yard on a really busy main street. I want to see if you can hear her tone change. Yeah. I buy that. He was a good person. Mm-hmm. I played the process. Uh, I don't want to talk. I, I do want to thank you. No problem, my dear. If you have any further questions, please let me know. Okay? Yeah. I don't have any other questions. No. Okay. Sounds good. Um... So bring back your friends, bring love, whoever you can. You know what I mean? Whoever wants to be able to get a reading done. Yeah, you can't really tell, but um, she got fucking pissed. And she, like, stopped talking. And so it was, like, me trying to fill the void, like, the awkwardness. And, like, I was like, damn, she's good at, like... Because I was almost, like, sure, I'll just fucking do it just to, like, make her like me. But, like, no. I was like, I'm not not doing all that. But. Well, I'm glad I didn't go see, like... You think you have good intuition, but I have good intuition. Yeah. I was like, I just don't think that's for me. Mm-hmm. But you should go. Yeah, I mean, the one Kai, time I got a go tarot too. card reading, I'm honestly it was thinking real. about going. It like it, she did like the one time I got one was at a random ass like milk makeup event in 2019, and she read my cards, and I'm not kidding, everything she said that was going to happen fully happened. Damn. Like, and then the other time that happened was when we were all obsessed with the pattern app, and like, oh yeah early 2019 and everything that it was or late 2018 or something and everything that it was saying was happening was fully happening but also i'm a crazy person and you can't tell me things because then i just make them happen no literally I'm like, it's gonna happen anyway i might as well make it happen mm-hmm. um well after drew had that he had a really scary experience again i don't even know what you're this is literally just the drew episode I want to let you know I made it to my destination of hell. As you can hear in the background, <laughs> the eternal screams of the damned. Oh, I'm actually going back to heaven now. Well, God, uh, God pardoned me, I guess. Oh, this is lit. All right, well, I'll send you an audio message from heaven. I guess I already am, but you know what I mean. After I get settled in and meet everybody. <gasps> There's Jesus. Queen. <laughs> I like you saying, I made it to my destination hell, as you can hear the eternal screams of the damned. <laughs> <laughs> What's crazy is the reason I sent that audio message was because the I sent an audio message from bed to Inya like right before that and I had a bat I sent it from my laptop and I had a basketball video playing in the background and it literally sounded like I was, <laughs> was at, at a, a basketball game. game. So I was like, the fuck did you go to a game? So I unlocked a new I unlocked a new bit, basically. Um and it's to play a YouTube video in the background with some sound effects and then screen or er, voice memo record off your laptop and it plays through the audio message. Like it keeps it perfectly balanced. Yeah, exactly. The exactly. volume. The volume. I need a Valium. Um no you don't. Yeah. No, they the um, evil around you is all the people trying to help you avoid <laughs> things like this. That's why she's like, they're oh, evil, don't listen bitch, to them. They're evil. I forgot about this. She was like, um, are you taking any medication right now? And I was like, No. And she was like, Good, like you will become a pill popper if you take antidepressant medication. I that's something I didn't record. And she went on this long tangent about how people that take like depression medication are pill poppers and it's evil and sinister. And I was like holy fuck she's crazy like she literally like if i was someone who like actually was like mentally unwell and like went there and you, wait, wait, decided wait, 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 to wait, wait, stop wait, 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 back up. you they, said if you were somebody who was mentally unwell no, you gotta put your foot on the. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, the pictures of my jeans. You're wonder- serving a gender reveal right now. 
leg. Oh yeah, <laughs> Drew in his stinky jeans, bro. Something is wrong with Drew's legs because any I used to think it was just his other pants, but these pants make his legs look funky too. I'll insert it. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, we went to Texas for Drew's sister's wedding. I was a fucking hit. Everybody was obsessed with me. Everybody was so sad when no, I was No, they leaving. literally were. They were like, why doesn't she, she stay another day? Like, she can just stay another day. Yeah, I, My, I'm wanted. You're lucky that you're loved and wanted because it doesn't feel like I am by my own family. I am like the black sheep. I like go in and everybody's like, who is he? He changed. Like. <laughs> And then well, they make me be. sleep outside. <laughs> <laughs> also, no, literally, they the made me sleep or... outside. Wait, what? In the rain, but it was like but funny. You like that stuff. I like rain, but I don't like sleeping in it. But it was like a bit. They just like locked me out. But they kept you out there all night with the dogs. Yeah, put me I, in a cage. I don't think that's like a bit. They might actually really not like you. You're only 16. You could call CPS still. There's still time. True. I no. didn't even fucking think. It's about a bit. That. It's like the bit that we do where I spank you. Yeah. Yeah. You've been silent the whole episode, and those are the first words you've said. I hope you sit, like, yeah. rest in that. Yeah. Rest. Wait, what is it? Rest? No. Wait, what were you fucking saying? Oh, we killed a million frogs by accident no. at his sister's wedding. No. There was a huge no. thunderstorm, and we were all walking around in the grass, and then all of us started to look down, and there was a million tiny, tiny frogs jumping around. It was like a frog, like a, a super bloom. Like, I mean, I'm, we're not exaggerating. There was thousands if not hundreds of thousands of little baby frogs this big and like it was actually so fucking cute for a wedding to have those little toads like hopping around and like like didn't like the princess kiss the frog or something and it became a toad or some shit like that like <laughs> didn't the princess kiss the frog <laughs> like you know what i'm talking about yeah. like it was like a cute it's fucking vibe princess and the frog yeah 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 it was like a cute fucking vibe and like um until we realized that we were mashing all the all kids of them. were running around we were like oh look at them and then we were looking at the grass and they were picking up frogs at one point and then they started running around and we were like oh that's so cute and then we started looking down at the floor and you could see a million frogs like jumping around but they were jumping around trying to get to running safety away. while kids were running <laughs> through just like <clears throat> killing their loved ones their brothers and sisters i don't think frogs have the capacity to know like relation no they don't but the wedding was super fucking cute congratulations to my sister and her now husband um i'm glad everybody was able to make it and i'm so fucking proud of you also um two things that i made fun of on the podcast in like the same episode <gasps> um, it's you in the ass i made fun of paragliding is that what it's called yeah yeah whatever the like fucking the, big the fan. fucking big fan i made fun of that one of drew's family members fully does that mm -hmm. and then i made fun of men and there was crying. beef there was like yeah tension. there was tension and then there was um obviously at the wedding his sister's husband was like sobbing he was like so happy but it felt sweeter in person but i felt so uncomfortable because i was like i made fun of these things back to back on an episode literally last week yeah. and i'm sitting here in a room of two men committing the sins that i damned um you ate with that yeah committing the sins that i damned because you're like satan because you're evil you're a witch Bruja. Brujaria. Anyway. Abulita. <laughs> Shut the fuck. my abuelita is a bruja abuelita 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 um but yeah it was a fucking vibe we made slime and it was so fucking awesome oh yeah we did floor slime it was fucking cute um what else happened um at the our trip because then came to me um came with me to texas my fucking family loves you bro like they literally like dude it's so funny like I'm loved. they all genuinely think like my extended family that like <laughs> yeah. i don't like i have a relationship but it's not as close as yeah. like my close family but all of them genuinely believe that me and Inya are gonna end up together and i'm like babe Babe, 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 babe. his grandma like was like say also his grandma was touching up on me yeah we need to talk about uh, that yeah. she was just doing like the older woman thing where she's like being like kind and like like her love language was touch but i was wearing this dress that had a big slit in it and she kept touching my thigh period and, like, touching my bare i did thigh. too i would have and i was just cracking up in my head because i'm just like sitting there and she kept calling everybody to introduce me to everybody but i've met your whole extended family already so she would be like come here like you need to meet enya she's the best and then they'd be like i know enya and then i'd be like yeah i know them and then they she'd be like oh okay and then kind of like bat them away mm -hmm. and then see who else she can like call over to talk about me and then she introduced me to somebody i didn't know and then she was like oh 
like how do you know the family and then she cut in and she was like this is drew's better half yeah and then me and drew later on we were like girl <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry grandma <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> Sorry, Gim Gims. Gam, um, gam, gam. But it's not too far for them to think we'd get married because we've talked about that before. Yeah. So it's not that crazy. Yeah. But it is so interesting to think of like older generations. I guess even some people our age, like we just live in a bubble where we don't find marriage and romantic relationships to be like the epitome of human connection. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of people, that's still like top tier and the thing to see, like be sought after. Yeah. But what was cracking me up is I was like, it's so weird to think that like for some people, there is like a sliver of like invalidness to our relationship because we don't fuck. Like no, that's literally, literally all literally, that's missing is like literally. just because uh, we don't hook up anymore. I was going to say also like, that's just a facade we keep up to the public yeah. that we don't do that. But like secretly, we keep our sex lives separate. private. Yeah. yeah. And private. we don't do that anymore. We keep our sex life private and our private parts to each other. <laughs> That's fucking sucked, bro. I was actually thinking the other day, I was like, damn, our podcast would be 10 times more interesting if we were people who were like dating around and being foolish and like mm -hmm. also spoke about those things publicly because there is like no personal life aspect to this podcast, which I enjoy. And I think for the most part, people like, mm -hmm. but I was listening to someone else's podcast. and I was like, damn, they're like going in about their fucking dating open. life. Like y'all are like about it. Um, but you literally couldn't put a gun to my head and make me say anything about my personal life. I actually think I would explode. I'd much rather talk about shit and poop. Yeah, no, literally. Sorry, I was like lost in thought, like thinking about like Trisha Paytas. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like literally, I was like, damn, like. She loves us. We're her favorite couples vibe. podcast. Yeah. Um, but okay, so also another thing that happened in the last episode is I started talking about basketball. Um, and people were genuinely shocked that I had ball knowledge, that I I'm not shocked that you ball. know things about balls. That's like, to me, that's the first thing I would think. I'm like, Drew, balls. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyways. Um, so anyways. Uh, no, but I know a lot about basketball. It's something I keep to myself um, because no one wants to hear me fucking talk about basketball. I but, love it when you talk about basketball. Okay, good. I was waiting for that. Um, should I keep, should I talk about it? That's my answer. So no. <sighs> <laughs> no, so Caitlin Clark, yes, um, she's the girl. And I, I hate to see um, all the other WNBA I don't mind girls. you talking about women's basketball. That to yeah. me for some reason is less annoying. And I love Angel Reese and I love that she's taking on the villain role and publicly saying like she's fine with it. <laughs> damn it is only basketball related yeah. this is insane so this is uh jalen brunson brunson and josh hart's podcast and this feels like when i would ever sit in like a french class and my teacher really wanted me to learn something and for some reason it just would like bounce off of the like membranes surrounding yeah. membrane like yeah. it just doesn't like it won't it can't it will never and you know what's crazy is um i would go to a game soldiers. though because i would get a beer and stuff let's go that sounds fun like let's getting go. all cute and like going to a game you have such a pretty nose but thank you i literally like just saw it for the first time um, um but yeah that sounds fun but then that sounds fun in theory and then actually having to sit through a game because aren't they like three hours long mm, that's like baseball they're not too long like because isn't there like intermissions and stuff um like we'd be in the stadium for three hours. Yeah, there's like halftime. No. no. But you go to the bathroom at halftime, you get like your beer at halftime, your second beer, and you like just vibe out and chat Wait, for a second. Are you talking about basketball? Yeah. Dude, when we went, I don't even fuck with sports, but when we went, I was like, this is kind of sick. Like you get it. Like once you go, you basketball get it. is like every 20 seconds they're playing like edm like whenever something's not happening like people come out and dance for you and shit yeah, it's like it's really it's crazy. like the tiktok it's there's literally not a subway surfers moment. like yeah. they're playing subway surfers for you to keep you like tuned in you know what's really fucking sad is we had luka Doncic, 
and Jalen Brunson, but we did not utilize Jalen Brunson right. We traded him to the fucking Knicks, and he became a fucking superstar. And now he's like gonna be an all star. Like he's gonna, <laughs> he's cooking. Wait, don't fall because you're gonna cut your hand. <laughs> um, all right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. That was crazy. Wait, should I go into stand up? Do you have more stand up? How the fuck do you have more things to say? Girl, I got a lot of stand up. <laughs> My notes suck. <laughs> people keep tagging me in people who get beat up by horses now <laughs> since I mentioned it. So all of my like tags on TikTok are literally like people getting beat up by those royal horses. And I actually don't understand the obsession with the royal guards and the horses. Like someone explain it. Yeah. Someone like in the comments, like just let me know what the fuck is up. Like, what is it? Is it like it's the outfits? It's the horse girl couture. It's coming back. I swear. No, but it's like, they got those big funky Marge Simpson hats. Like, I don't understand why that's the vibe. Like you, we need like a, like a Renaissance era of those fits. Like we need or like to a coquette, them. like imagine a coquette, a coquette like, royal, guard. royal guard. Yeah. But those horses, First of all, those horses are being abused because they have to just stand in a fucking dingy cave all day Horrible. and like let humans come up to it. But like you the saw way the one that escaped and like cut its yes. fucking neck. Yes, mm -mm, like they literally get attacked. But like I need to find some of the ones that I've been tagged in. Oh, I think I've been saving them because I get tagged in them so much now. You don't want to be saved, don't save her. Oh. <gasps> Also, also, why do you so go up? humiliating? So humiliating, it, bitch! If I got hit in the head by a horse, I would actually end my life. Like, Getting why hit in go public, up? Like, that's mean. This lady's really cute. Oh, she cute. did not deserve. Also, the horses like must be able to sense energy and vibes because it doesn't bite everybody. <gasps> I like, it is sad. <laughs> <laughs> Falling to the fucking ground. <laughs> like, I am sorry. Like It's really crazy. Every single person trips. Yeah, everybody gets knocked over because, like, a horse is so goddamn strong. But people keep going to take the pictures. Like, I just want to understand the value of the picture. Because it's not like... I don't know. Also, the other thing I wrote down is... It's crazy how much, like, homophobia in the world is. As it, like, how Bro, you are the main... <laughs> perpetuator <laughs> but it's crazy how much like homophobia there is in the world where they are like when they are the most accepting people ever no straight crowd would ever sing and cheer like that for jojo siwa no, like the love never. given to jojo siwa like is so sweet and it's so awesome and like at the shows and whatever even if it's for like a goof and a gag and it's like funny but like genuinely wait i want to know exactly the way i wrote it down i was really high when i was having this thought too like i, I thought i was like unlocking something fuck the mystery gay people are so nice like at the end of the day a crowd of gay people singing and cheering for jojo siwa is true connection no literally <laughs> like that is literally like the meaning of true connection i don't know why you could even hate their kind like those people even for a second i mean i know i couldn't either but i'm like yeah I just think it's interesting how Enya's critiquing homophobia when she just broke a bottle over a gay passing man's head. Exactly. Wait. A culturally gay man. A culturally gay. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's where the confusion I'm is. Culturally Drew gay. is not gay. He's culturally gay. I'm yeah. a, I, oh, wait. I was, I was unlocking the keys to the fucking universe yesterday. LA <laughs> is full of oh, straight yeah. gay men. No, no, no. Gay straight men. Yeah, yeah. LA is full of gay straight men. And I am just straight. That's not what you said in the car. <laughs> <laughs> no, we literally were having say? the funniest conversation because I was saying how like, what? Oh, I was saying it's so interesting the way like mega straight <laughs> girls talk about like, like coochie. Like it really oh, is so jarring yeah. to me. Like this whole like narrative that is based in misandry or not misandry, that's based in misogyny and, like, just, like, this weird patriarchal ideology around, like, women's private parts and just is, like, oh, it's so stinky, ew, fucking fishy, nasty, like, whatever, which is, like, funny to, like, just, like, troll about and, like, know that it's not serious. But there are girls out there who are literally, like, I could never eat someone out. That is fucking disgusting. Like, the way, like... Dude, neither could I. Wait, uh, okay, that's not... <laughs> That's not I got the whole squad laughing with that one. <laughs> um, but like the the like the actual like 
way people talk about it actually freaks me out because I'm like, first of all, we got to get down to what's up with your Cooter Bronson because that shit must be reek nation <laughs> the way you think everyone else is. Like, I actually don't understand it. Um, And then we were having that conversation. We were laughing about it. And then I was like, I act like I don't talk about men like that. So I guess yeah, I was like, girl, you talk about penises the exact same way. They're barbaric. She's just never seen mine. Oh, that's I literally not true <laughs> that is literally not true um no i was thinking about that too and i was like it is interesting though like guys can like look at a penis and respect it like yeah. straight guys yeah <laughs> <laughs> no yeah exactly yeah some wieners go crazy okay did you guys see the uh video of the of girl? your mama getting banged by drew phillips I oh i did that. I oh did. my god what the it was fuck? number one no the video of the girl <laughs> <For> one. <laughs> oh my so it was number one trending no she it was a girl who showed her class the podcast no here i'll send it to you oh that's so scary watch this and i know everybody's like Ugh. people in the comments were like i'm embarrassed for you like i'm freaking out watching this video no <gasps> oh Oh, God. Oh, I did see this. I did see this. And then she did a follow-up yeah. where she asked everybody and everybody was like, I don't fucking know. That shit was weird. Like, I didn't. I really didn't like that. Which freaks me out because I don't feel like we're that crazy. No. We're horrible. Like, I don't think we're that, like, great. Oh, I'm crazy. Like, what? Like, I'm not that crazy. <laughs> like, no, there was a girl at the end that was, like, a fan. Huh? Yeah, no. I think she had merch or something. The, it's, uh, no, it's the girl who showed the video. Oh. She was like, I don't care what they say. Like, I still like it. Like, it literally felt like a piece to cam of like everybody <laughs> being like, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. And then she was like, everyone here is crazy. That shit is good as fuck. It's funny as fuck. But all of her and friends respect. Were like, and listen, 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 listen. If you have one, what did Lady Gaga say? If there's one person in the room that believes in you, there could be 99 people who don't believe in you. But if the one person believes in you, you will go far. Exactly, exactly. So that's that's the mentality I have from that. All right, uh, going into stand up. Are y'all ready? I open with a banger. <laughs> Homophobic vinyls be like, let me set the record straight. <laughs> Wait, what? Because <laughs> the record? Like a vinyl record player. Okay. <laughs> they say curiosity killed the cat. Well, who the fuck is curiosity and why don't they like cats? <laughs> yeah, I don't like that one. Where do you go to get an almost 20-year-old illiterate wedding ring? The na oh. <laughs> <laughs> The my name's Jared. I'm 19 and I never learned how to read Diamond Store. <laughs> That's the closest we're going to get to having Josh on the podcast. Know. You know Jared like the Diamond Store, Jared? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chipotle more like shit Chipotle. They have been skimping on the topics lately, or toppings lately, huh? <laughs> I'd be like, don't be shy, put some more. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go into yo mama jokes. Okay, let's hear them. <laughs> Texas is the biggest state, but Kai's mama couldn't f fit inside. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make slime, but I grabbed your mama's underwear instead. <laughs> oh this one this one's super heady this one's like you gotta think about this one for a second let it set after i say it fuck i'm so bad with directions and i hate when i'm right alone i get so lost in my thoughts <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait 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 like repeat that i don't understand i'm so bad with directions and i hate when i'm right alone <laughs> I get so lost in my thoughts. <laughs> Dude, that one's barely a joke. I swear no, no, left and right. Like no, I, 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 okay. When I'm left alone, when I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what time of day did you write that? Uh, Like on the way to the airport. So it was like one. <laughs> that doesn't seem like something that should have came out of your head. Like that. Oh, I was cooking thing. in the backseat of my dad's truck. <laughs> Crocs are so funny because they are shoes, but they sound like crocodiles. Plus, they bite your feet. Blisters. 
<laughs> okay, no, you're. I don't know if you're gonna be allowed to do this next week. You're like really going down a scary path. In ya, more like get in my belly. I'm so hungry I could eat you up. Kai, <laughs> more like K Y jelly. I wanna butt fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think I've heard the term butt fuck in so long. Dude, no. When I was writing it down, I was like, this is a banger, like a hundred percent. <laughs> happy pride y'all and that's the end oh, actually wow. i have three more but i was like wait i'm gonna read the audience and that's a good banger to end on yeah so i'm copying i'm copying the ones that i have written down that i didn't read that was good <laughs> and you, you should try to embarrass myself that's a lot harder for me to do than it's like for rejection you. therapy I get rejection therapy all the time because nobody gives me enough attention. True. I'm it constantly. <laughs> True. Oh, this sucks. This psyop. Jaren, um, I'm sorry. Evil Dr. Seuss be like one fish, two fish, dead fish, blood fish. <laughs> okay. That's you like sold. A- you sold. <laughs> you sold, bruh. Okay. I'm not. That's the one psyop y'all get because I killed. My favorite uh, meme right now is how the fuck you hate Subway, bitch. You made the sandwich. I love that meme so fucking much. Should we do media? Yeah. You want to start? Um. Well, I've been really scared recently because I've realized my family has no video or photo documentation of us before the age of like 14, 15. So I actually think I might have been kidnapped and put into this family <laughs> because every time I'm like, hey, do you have photos of you when you were younger? Me when I was younger, like our grandma when they were younger, like whatever, whatever. Everybody says no. And I'm like, okay, I know y'all didn't have your bread up. Something serious. But this is fucking fishy. Like, why is there actually... I asked my grandma if she had a picture of her when she was like 27. By that time, girl, you had to have been near a fucking camera or something. (laughs) And she was like, no. And I was like, do you have... Like, okay, when's the first time you were getting pictures? She was like, probably when you were born. And I was like, girl... That is funky, uncle. What the fuck? How, do you, how are there no fucking pictures? And I can't stand you bitches with hella documentation to look back at because I am a narcissist. And like the best part about documentation is that I could look at myself. Mm-hmm. There's no fucking pictures to look at myself. My dad literally threw away all of the documentation of us when we were younger what and all you my do? Pokemon cards. What did cards. you do to him? Oh. Exactly. He has a sleep apnea machine and I farted into the air intake every night for like five years remember how much you used to hate farts they used to make drew so fucking mad it was fucked up like it was I so annoying it was like just, if you I didn't around come, him he'd literally be like seriously like did you actually just do that i didn't come from like a farting family so like they were gross to me and but then i farted once in front of everybody and i <laughs> got over it <laughs> <laughs> You're so brave. I love I that we know. make you feel comfortable enough to fart. I'm a soldier. No, thank you guys for that. Yeah. Now it's like my go-to bed. I'll be like, wait, it's so quiet. Or wait, what is that sound? <laughs> what is that sound? It's like such a dad joke to be committing to. But like Drew will just be in his room for like five hours straight ignoring me and Josie and then come into the living room and be like, wait, fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. Why did I come in here? And then just fart and turn around and run away. Go back and rot in my cellar under under the crib. Um. All right, well, shit. Media. Media. Of the media. week. Media, 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 media. 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 Sorry if I was quiet this episode, guys. Uh, Drew started out by concussing me, so... Yeah, and then I got concussed. I mean, dramatic. It's a little bit dramatic. Mm. (laughs) All right. Mm. um, My media of the week is... Fuck, dude. I really have been listening to the same songs. Like, uh, Why Should I Love You by Kate bush why should i be sad Britney kate's Spears. bush um you wouldn't know anything about that sis well, i know a lot about bush. oh something that's been cracking me up recently is 
the dramatics of when a white person can dance and the reaction it gets literally has always cracked me up but recently it's been making me laugh so fucking hard because something about a white person like dancing with all their <laughs> might is really fucking funny like and i like i understand historically why white people are so bad at dancing but like it is crazy the like human i'm not bad at dancing dance <laughs> Okay, wait. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not fucking doing this. I don't have to prove myself to anybody. Um, but I don't know. The reactions to it are so amazing. It's like the equivalent when a baby speaks its first word, when a white person just suddenly shows the world that they can dance. Everybody's mind is well like, oh, my God, good job. Like, I'm so proud of you. That's amazing. Please. I look you want to try lithium. I feel like you'd do good on it. Yeah. I, Kai, I, I, would I, I, you I, do I, good on lithium? Yeah, I think you would do really well. Y'all are well. saying that to offend me, but I actually genuinely think it would be really good. No, I'm, ge I'm being dead serious. So you think I'm fucking crazy. Yes. Also, really quick, guys, we've seen the comments. We've seen people begging for a Kai cam. And uh, everyone at the studio respects me, so they're going to set me up with a really nice camera. Next yeah, episode. be excited, y'all. It's um, coming soon. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, so. Who said they respect you? Just like the whole team. They all were like, oh. I didn't hear that. When did they? Your body's great. We respect you. Oh, no, they did. Wait, okay, Kai's now. body is T right now, y'all. He has like abs. Uh, when I got here, <laughs> they were like oh, we want to show you a picture. And then they were like, wait, we can't, we can't. When I walked away, they were like, wow, you look so good. And they were standing over Kai's phone. And I was like, y'all are literally gay. No. Like y'all are literally all in a corner, and, like showing off your body. And not that there's anything bad with it. Like it's not wrong. I want to clarify. I'm not homophobic. I just don't like Drew. <laughs> Me and Drew, there was a period where we were just sending <laughs> each other. boy. <laughs> there was a period where we and Drew were just sending each other progress pictures. Yeah. Back and forth. And I have them in my folder hidden. My product. Yeah. Or it was not Kai's. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have a shared album. Yeah, yeah. Okay, my media is a, a Lady Gaga, In My Room, Langley Kids Choir, Snow Queen of Texas, The Mamas and the Papas. And then I finally saw Bottoms and it was worth the wait and worth the hype. But I watched it on my iPhone screen on the airplane like this. Um Bitch, I didn't even fucking talk about the people next to me on the fucking plane, <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. Talk about I'll, no, I'll talk about it next week, bro. Like, remind me, but yeah, Drew was too busy fucking running his goddamn fucking mouth this whole episode. I didn't get a goddamn. You're mad. In. You're mad. You're mad. Um, oh, I did watch Anatomy of a Fall, and I really liked it. And I watched Children of a Lesser God, which I liked. The lead actress. Not only am I one in love with her two she did such a good job three it is just like a classic old movie where the guy is like kind of fucking annoying like oh any movie with like a male love interest before the year of like 2017 is fucking like oh the, the, the turing test huh kai what's the test the turing test no oh, it's the not the turing test. the bechdel test bechdel yeah. test the rectal um, test like there are certain movies it, it's just very like manic pixie dream girl like she's so like lost and i can fix her but she ate down and she is like so pretty it's her sigourney weaver sigourney's beaver what's her name oh my god oh my god oh my god i'm not gonna remember her name she's from fucking what's it called boys don't cry oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god wait 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 guys wait 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 the frank ocean magazine shut the fuck up i look up boyd's boyd's don't cry fucking what's her name hillary swank more like hillary skank <laughs> okay bye guys <laughs>